Los Angeles, the city that's known to have the biggest celebrities residing here, such as Kylie Jenner, Drake, LeBron James, Justin Bieber, Kanye West, Jennifer bro, Lopez. Bro, 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 we get it. Celebrities live here. Okay, I'm trying to get my point across, bro. Chill. Okay. In order to live, these A-list celebrities must eat, right? Today, we're eating at restaurants that celebrities are known to be spotted at. If these high-profile stars are frequently going to these restaurants, the food must be insane. Let's find out if they live up to the hive. Who knows? We might spot a celebrity today. All right, bro. How am I supposed to get into my car? <laughs> oh, wait. I can get in. Oh, yeah, oh you're chilling. Guys, I've been on my gallon a day water stuff. I feel a lot better every single day, a lot more energized. So just a reminder, stay hydrated. First restaurant we're going to is called Crossroads Kitchen. This is known for so many celebrities to go to like Katy Perry, the Kardashians, Lizzo. There's actually an article that says, there's just something about Crossroads menu that keeps A-list celebrities returning to the vegan restaurant time and time again. So it's a vegan restaurant. This just has to be insane. Have you tried this? I've had it a few times. It's really? amazing, but like, I don't know, bro. You said Lizzo. I just took a DNA test and I'm a hundred. I, don't know. <laughs> I just love making these videos because me and Noah get to just go around the city, eat food, and you guys get to experience it through the lens with us. So drop a like if you love these food videos. Let's head to Crossroads Kitchen, baby. Guys, we just pulled up and there's a Urus just right out front. A nice Mercedes right here. Who knows? We actually might really spot a celebrity today. The chances are high. People actually go out to restaurants like this specifically for celebrity watching. It kind of sounds wrong because that sounds like you're at a zoo and you're like <laughs> watching an animal. And I feel for the celebrities. I'm not going to lie. Like I watch Justin Bieber paparazzi videos and bro, I feel so bad for him, man. Let's hit the valet up real quick, bro. Yo, Rug! Yo, yo, yo. What's what good, are you doing bro? here? Just about to have some crossroads. What's good? Oh, okay. What are you uh, What are you going to get here? Whatever any celebrity gets, bro. But you're kind of in my way right now. Oh, you bro. Just kinda, like, I heard about up. that whole situation. I understand, bro. I don't care. Like, I'm bro, not answering any questions Are you still right with now. her or no? Bro, I'm not answering questions now. If you could just calm down. Wait, I didn't pay the meter for real. <laughs> I actually didn't. Hey, Rugs! Bro. It's a sign that this food is going to hit. I'm actually really excited. I'm starving, yeah, bro. Yeah, same here. First meal of the day. I noticed that this is where like a lot of celebrities go to. Is there like a favorite from the menu that they like? Absolutely, yeah. We have the zucchini blossoms and calamaris. Can we just get that? And the spaghetti carbonara. Okay, can we just order all that? We're right back. All right, thank you. Excuse me. I'm excited to see how it tastes. So I read online that this also like is a favorite restaurant of Katy Perry. Have you seen her here or no? I don't know if I can tell you that. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Keep it confidential. <laughs> but I love Katy Perry. That's a zucchini blossom. Yes. Bro, I love zucchini. I love zucchini. Here we go. I'm just going for this one because it looks the craziest. Go Am I doing the walk? I don't know. I don't know. I've never even seen that before. Oh my Wait, god. Zucchini, zucchini blossom, but what's inside? It looks like cheese. Oh, that's insane. I'm gonna save the walk. This is not real. I didn't even dip it in the sauce though. Marinara sauce. Damn. Never seen this in my life. Dip it. Yup. Ooh. Bro. <laughs> How did they come up with that? That's what I'm saying. That's the unique part about this, bro. It's like you don't see mm. that regularly. Oh, yeah. hot. <laughs> now let's try the calamari, bro. I mean, I'm not big on this, but let's try it with the sauce. Oh, never mind. That's insane. I can see why this is a restaurant that celebrities go to. Like, it's very unique. So far, so good. And this is just the starters. Oh, wow. Thank you. Oh, there's an egg in the middle. That's so cool. It's part of the sauce. Mix it in with the... Okay. Dude, I've never seen that. So you just break it down and you mix it with the sauce. So let's see if it's satisfying. Whoa. Bro. Nah, this is gonna hit. You could just tell. It smells insane. I'll never understand pasta with a spoon. It happens a lot in fancy restaurants. They'll give you a spoon for pasta, but... Wait, why though? Here we go, bro. Are we getting the first walk of the video? I think we are. You're out of here? No. <laughs> I'm mad, bro. I'm actually mad. It shouldn't be that good, bro. <laughs> that was the weirdest bite, bro. That's insane. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. I'm not just saying this because it's like a celebrity restaurant, but this is a hit for sure. I think the entire experience with the appetizers, the service, the food, I do think it's like a solid 9 out of 10. I guess we'll finish up here, wait till we get hungry again, and we'll see you at the next restaurant. I've got a very important question to ask. Whoa. Alright. Wow. Do you guys have any phase rugs? No phase rugs? Probably like optic rugs in here or something. Okay, okay. thank, thank you, so you so much. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. They just don't really mess with you like that dude like that's why i live in san diego they have so many phase rugs out there all the ogs know blockbuster bro but i think that's a bar right yeah it's a bar that's cool
Guys, this next place is owned by one of the greatest actors of all time, Danny Trejo. It's Coffee and Donuts. Funny thing is, guys, I've actually met Danny Trejo at a Ryan Garcia fight. Look at this picture right here. Danny Trejo is one of my dad's favorite actors. He's known for movies like Machete. He was in Spy Kids and many more. He's an icon. But are the Coffee and Donuts good? Let's go find out. Look at the logo, dude. That's so sick. He's a legend. Like, you see that, you know exactly who it is. We're just here trying, like, a bunch of celebrity restaurants and stuff. So is there anything you guys recommend, like, one of the most popular donuts, coffee. So these two are the most popular. Berry Bomb and Abuelita. Can we get both of those? Has Danny himself been to this shop specifically? Yeah, yeah. He's the owner of the shop. I'll also do an espresso shot. Do you want one too? I'm down. Ever since we came back from Italy, <laughs> we've been drinking espresso shots all the time. Let's taste this, the coffee. We already had an espresso shot today. I didn't go to the bathroom this morning, so like, this is bad. Phase rug walk turned into a run. <sighs> oh, that's strong, bro. But it goes well with donuts, so. Ooh. Uh, we're gonna go for the berry bomb first. You think it's filled with something like jelly? Oh yeah, it is. All right, Danny, this is it. Excuse me? Did Danny like make these himself or no? Yeah, he did. He did? This morning. Wow, bro, that's so sick. <laughs> bro. <laughs> <laughs> you want some? You know, I hate jelly too. It's actually insane. Oh, no, 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 no. So that's why you hate jelly, huh? Here, you got me? No, you got, I got me. You. I got you. <laughs> oh, no. There we go. Hold on. Hey, it was good, though. I would say that that one for me is like a solid 9.5 out of 10. Now it's time for the abuelita. Any abuelitas out there that watch my videos, I love you. Upside down bite? What do you mean upside down? <laughs> Don't look, tell look me. Look how you ate it. Look how you ate it. This is so good. This pitch, bro. Definitely a great spot for coffee and donuts. The aesthetic of the place, the donuts, the espresso. I'm gonna give it a nine out of 10. Another nine. Guys, the downside of having a G-Wagon is you can't fit in parking garages. Let's see. Let's see if I can. <laughs> wait, you're chilling. You're good. Is it touching it or no? No, you're close though. Hit it, hit it, hit it. Wait, wait, you did, you did. Back out, back out, back out. Oh, no. Sorry, car behind me. Give me a second. No parking for me, huh? We're screwed, guys. So this is the next spot we're going to. To Wahlburgers, aka Mark Wahlberg's burger spot. And look at this, it's in the heart of Hollywood Boulevard, so it should be really, really good. We're gonna try to find parking, it might take a long time, so we'll see you guys in front of Wahlburgers. After you, sir. Ooh, it smells good. Wow. I wonder how often he actually comes here, you know? I was gonna ask for like a recommendation or if like Mark Wahlberg himself has a favorite burger yes, here. He does. He has the impossible burger. Oh, I want that, please. We're upstairs waiting for our food, but they got all of his famous movies on the wall right here. Look at that. This restaurant, the aesthetic of it is so sick. Like when you're up top as well, you get welcome to Hollywood. The green chairs, the aesthetic, everything is sick here. I'm excited to review the burger though. An impossible burger. Bro, the last time I had an impossible burger was from Carl's jr. From Darman's recommendation So I wonder how this is gonna differ from that guys You can't eat a burger without fries. So there's the official fries taste test I'm gonna use one of our tactics from our life hacks video. Oh, okay. You know what I'm about to do? Yeah, just like that easy they're not in and out fries. They're not McDonald's fries, but they're not bad. I would say these are like some like regular fries that you would get at any average fast food place. I already see some grilled onions, some lettuce, an impossible burger, bro. Like you can't tell that it's vegan. Yeah. Like it genuinely just tastes good. It tastes like a regular burger. All right, here we go. Big bite. I'm not gonna lie though, I think the Carl's Jr. one was a little bit better than this. This isn't bad. Pretty simple oh. meal. Oh, sure, okay. wow, okay. Thank you so much. All in all, I think the food plus service plus aesthetic of the place, all that stuff combined is a 7.5 out of 10. I think that's a fair rating. Me personally, I'm not a huge fan of the burger. Also, I don't usually eat impossible burgers. So I was going based off of what Mark Wahlberg's favorite meal is. So yeah, 7.5, not bad. <laughs> this is what Noah looks like holding the camera. You know what I mean? Like, bro, are we on a date? It looks like we're on a date. <laughs> We just pulled up to Dobrik's Pizza. My Ooh. man, I had no oh, idea you were gonna be here, bro. How oh, are you? Good, we're doing like eating at celebrity restaurants. We're gonna pull up here. I actually had oh, it yeah. in my video, but I had it Ubered, so it wasn't like as no, fresh. I need the real experience, bro. Let me get Ilya right on it so we get the freshest pizza. Dude, thank you so much, bro. Next one, we got Dobrik's Pizza. <laughs> we had absolutely no idea David was gonna be here, which is awesome. Shout out to my boy, David. We don't have it on the menu yet, but we're trying our thing. Oh. You wanna try a fan? So I did like a tier list, and I ranked yours an S tier, cause like, I went based on- S tier is the top. <laughs> 
Oh. You know, it's amazing. <laughs> I was like rating based off like branding, food, like oh, longevity thanks. of it. You know, like I'm sure you're planning on like opening different locations in the future. Like, yeah. The only thing I didn't try is the ice cream. So I have to try that as Damn. well. Damn. Okay. Hope we have it. So is this just a cheese? This is just a plain cheese. Like I said, not on the <laughs> menu yet. All right, let's get it. So even if you have notes, let me know. Okay. I don't like looking at people when they eat. <laughs> Say whatever you want. Okay. Bro, it's actually fire. Yes. I'm not going to lie. Are you lying? I promise you, bro. <laughs> what do you think about it? I really like it. That's what I'm saying. I actually like it. I prefer thin crust anyways. Like, that's like my favorite pizza. You like deep dish? We don't have deep dish. We have like more of like Detroit style, like a little bit thicker, but I yeah. love deep dish. You like it? Yeah. Then are you going to have more like pepperoni? Oh, yeah. We're going to have the whole wine, thing. All that? Okay. Dude, we got a sneak preview of the new menu item. That's wow, fire. Wait, special, what are the bro. chances though? That's crazy. Yeah, like, that is funny. How are you? Good. Yeah. Are you? Good, good to see you. We're reviewing the new pizza. <laughs> like we get the exclusive taste. Sick. That's sick, bro. We're making the ice cream. Don't worry. That's why you're S tier. Yeah, yeah, that's why I'm S tier. There you go. For you two. I have the blue one already. Oh, yeah, I do. God. I was gonna grab you the blue one. <laughs> for me. Hey, thank you so much. What flavor is this? So this is blue moon. Blue do you want me to feed you? Because you oh, have the camera. Oh, that's I'll awesome. <laughs> <laughs> so it's kind of like a sweeter vanilla. That's really rich. Yeah, yeah, I love it. Wait, it tastes like um, fruity pebbles. Yes, yeah. bro. Yeah. It's kind of difficult to pinpoint what it is. I just like it. It's from the Midwest, and they don't really serve it out here, so I really wanted to fruity have it. Fruity pebbles is a great comparison. What a success. That's really good. This is insane. Remember what we said in the beginning of this video? That we're going to run into a celebrity? We're going to run into someone. And we did. David Dobrik himself, bro. <laughs> I think that's the first time David's been in one of my videos in general, so drop a like on this video if you're enjoying. Subscribe. Look at the doors, bro. The little D door. Bro, it smells good. In here. Look at this. Spicy vodka. I heard three people outside say that's their yeah. favorite. Yeah, that's it. Oh, it's better at night. Actually, it'll be really lame now. Should we run it? Yeah, yeah. All right, let's get it. Wait, that's my pizza? Yes, sir. Oh my gosh. Let's see it. Ready? Yes. Pizza review. Oh, is that spicy vodka right there? Yeah. yeah. And then this is our veggie pizza. It's pesto sauce, basically. Okay, okay. And then this is pepperoni with honey. I'm so excited to try this. Thank you so much. Got a little pizza party going. You guys ready? Okay. Vibing. You've had the pizza, you've had the ice cream, you've seen inside. What do you give this? It's a 10 out of 10. This is our new spot to eat your trunk. Oh, yeah, yeah. I like it. I really gotta try spicy vodka first. Ooh, so juicy. Moment of truth. I mean, this is delicious, bro. Honest first thoughts. No, I think this is crazy. There's something that I'd actually get. I'm basic with pepperoni, but there's something that I actually get again. Look at that authentic honey. Come on, bro. Oh, for real, bro. Come on. No, you wanna try the veggie? I would yeah. love to. Yeah. Look at the. I still feed him even though he has hands now. <laughs> That's amazing. No. Pesto sauce. I love pesto. Oh, hell yeah. Bro, I'm trying to get like your honey, man. Bro. Watch out. Oh, actually oh dude, it. hold up. Go for it, go for it, go for it, go for it. Oh, the best one. Yeah. I think this is the best one. <laughs> this, spicy vodka, and I didn't try that because I'm not like a veggie guy. I want to see what you think about the crust. Take a bite out of the side. All right, here we go. Crust. No, bro, bro, please. There's more right there, fam. <laughs> Crazy. It tastes like a breadstick. My favorite part of the entire pizza. We are at Wally's, one of the most famous, iconic, popular restaurants out here in LA, known for having celebrities like Drake actually mentioned them in a song lyric. I'm in the back room at Wally's, I spent 30,000 on somebody's grapes. Did he actually? Does he mean wine? Yeah. Okay, okay. This place is known for like their wines and their cheeses and meats. Yeah, guys, it's literally on Rodeo Drive, one of the richest places in all of America. I'm really hoping that they let us film because it's very, very private. I mean, I'm sure a lot of celebrities come here for their privacy, so let's go find out. We're gonna walk around and get a quick tour of this place they actually have a checkout section where you could actually buy wine if you like the wine here they have shelves on shelves of wine I mean check this out they have all this and a lot of cheese I love charcuterie boards grab wine whatever it is and you could check out right here and then dine in I think that's what makes it unique to be honest but what I'm excited for is the food let's go check that out can you get us some of the most popular menu items that you guys have so we got a brie baguette with truffle honey truffle oil we also got a charcuterie board which is what they're also known for and we got another recommendation one of their most popular items, an exquisite salad. Exquisite, 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 exquisite. Now we wait. Thank you so much. That looks delicious. I love cheese, man. As a Middle Eastern, I used to eat cheese every single night with tahorta and chai. My dad does it to this day, every day. I'm gonna try the cheese first, bro. Oh my God, the flavor, bro. So many flavors hitting you all at once. You grab one of these guys. Yeah. What is that, salami? It looks like pepperoni. Yep, salami. Bro, there's so many things on this board. What is that? Maybe jelly? Is this raisins? It's raisins. <laughs> this is literally just what they bring out before the food. Cheese and bread, baby. That bread is crazy. For a charcuterie board, bro, this hits. Oh my god. 
Liz fire. Everything here is amazing so, okay, so good, far. Good. I appreciate love that. The energy. Thank you so it. much. Thank you. Oh, you guys came with great energy as well, so I gotta make sure hey, I yes, that too. You know I mean? Dude, I didn't know truffle like looked like that. You know what I mean? Yeah, man, it's weird. <laughs> man, it's weird. Oh man. Can we throw a caviar too in there? I don't know how to order caviar. Well, I'm I mean, saying caviar. You got yeah. it. You're good. <laughs> Thank you so much. Dude, I love truffle. I want you to go first. That looks insane. Will Noah do the phase rug walk? Is it one of those? I'm gonna walk. No, you're not. I've never seen. Oh, he's running! Look where he came out from. <laughs> that tastes expensive. Here we go. Wow. There's no way. Thank you. Very this well. is insane, by the way. I'm glad you like Incredible. Oh, he's running too. Being completely honest, this is insane. Do you know what the phase rug walk is or no? The who? This is one of their most popular items on the menu. They have goat cheese in there. They got squash. They got chicken. I see avocado. Tastiest salad ever. This meal right here, charcuterie board, truffle bread, and salad is like the perfect combination. It's honestly just cool knowing that like we're in the same place Drake has walked in. All in all, the service, food, experience overall, freaking 10 out of 10, man. It just can't get better than this. Bro. Bro, are these pancakes? Basically little pancakes. And you eat caviar with it? Yeah, so you bake that caviar on it. Oh, I'm gonna try the pancake first. Yeah, I'm learning, guys. I'm learning. A little sour cream to start. Yo, you wanna try some? I'm good, man. You guys want caviar? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're not gonna finish it. So. I actually will. You go first. Okay, thank you. I'm only gonna have one bite. <laughs> oh, is this your first time trying it? Yeah. Give us your honest review for the video. <laughs> Pretty bad. Yeah. Out of 10, out of 10. 10 out of 10. It's my first time. So I oh, my Seven and a half, eight out of ten. Okay. That's an honest food review. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks for sure. Yeah, no problem. It is dinner time and we are here at the infamous Boa Steakhouse. One of the greatest steakhouses in the world known for celebrities to be spotted here. The other day, Elon Musk was here and you guys have probably seen so many paparazzi clips of so many different celebs here. So why not end the video off with a bang and try Boa Steakhouse? Let's head inside. So Boa is also known to have a ton of influencers pull up all the time, like these two. Oh, hey. Guys, I'm joined with Santi and Lexi and they're gonna help me review the food here. Should we just look at the menu, order like the best stuff. Give it a nice, yeah. honest review. Yeah, I'm excited. Okay, guys, so the Wagyu tacos here are a secret item on the menu. Like, they're not on the menu. Have you ever had Wagyu tacos? Never Wagyu. I want you to get the first bite then, because yeah. I've tried it and you've tried it. They don't got no, like, salsa verde or, like, <laughs> salsa roja or, like... You got a lime. Estos güeritos, cuando vienen a esta ciudad, no traen ni la idea lo que es un taco. Pero vamos a ver. Mexican tries a Wagyu taco for the first time. Oh, I'm excited to see this. We need an honest review. Yes. Oh. Honest, honest review? Yes. It's mid. What? Why is the tortilla crunchy? This isn't a taco. I like them crunchy. I'd give it a six. I would give it like a five or a six. This is fire. What are you guys talking about? <laughs> I mean, it's a secret item. Yeah. Not many people know about it. Keep it a secret. <laughs> Give me the rundown. The meat is laid out the same way as the regions of Japan of where it comes from. You're going to start in the south and you're going to go to the north. And it's a co-op. So we actually pay into the co-op to get the right to be able to purchase the meat. Oh my god. That's Thank how rare it is. Thank you so much for the rundown. Oh, it's time for the oh. Oh. That is delicious. Now you're going to rub it like jelly. Oh. Do I get like a cool intro? No. No? Are you gone? You get nothing. <laughs> it's crazy you have to eat this a certain way. Like one bite from there, one bite from there, one bite from there. This is the popular girl in high school. Popular girl in high school? Mm, it does melt in your mouth. You've had it over it after a couple years, right? Hold on. Uh -huh. The relationship is good for the first couple months. Okay. And then we break up after a year right here. <laughs> now, the new relationship. The girl I found in college. Did you break up a little bit earlier than the first girl? This girl right here, I tried out for a month and then I just figured it wasn't it. I ghosted her. I'm not messing with this middle. <laughs> he said this is the holy grail. This is supposed to be top tier. And if it's not top tier, I will be honest. Yeah. I like the cut on this one, so I'm getting so the middle piece. She is pretty. Moment of truth. Drum roll, please. Like some taste in it. That one got some sazon. I give this one a nine. Oh, I like that one a lot. So you're marrying her. This one right here, I might keep around for like two, three years. <laughs> and then still not marriage. Hey, marriage is a long ways away. I'm 21 years old, Reggie. <laughs> yeah. My honest opinion, just get one of these bad boys. Okay. Honestly. It was an experience. If you want an experience, this is an experience. Okay, so you already cut yours in half. It was a soft cut. It's filet. It's, like it's super butter. soft. All right. Official taste test. That's a good reaction. Mm -hmm. It's like rosemary. 
rosemary. There's a lot of flavor. It's like really buttery, and it's like really tender. What would you rate it? About like an 8.9. So this is a 14 ounce Wagyu prime rib, which I've never had before. So let's get a good bite. So cooked, I think medium. Cheers. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just laughing because you guys are staring at me. Oh, we're like this like... close to him. It's really soft, flavorful. I usually don't like fat on a steak, so I think a prime rib is like the best way to go. I'm gonna go for a nine out of 10. Mm. Overall experience though. Overall, customer service, 10 out of 10. They're yeah. amazing here. Food, 10 out of 10. Obviously I chose something I've never had before, but I've had boa before, 10 out of 10. In total, 10 out of 10 out of boa. Experience, 10 out of 10, except for the Wagyu tacos. I'm not gonna lie, I did not like those. <laughs> I give this a 12 out of 10. Ooh. <laughs> I'm gonna run a 10 out of 10. Alright, we got the best part. Oh, so oh, oh, oh. Shout out to Paul, man. We got the phase rug. rug. Okay. Oh, the, the cookies. cookies. The cookies <laughs> are the best, bro. Right. Hey, I want to give a huge shout out to Paul who works at Boa. He always comes in clutch. You're amazing, man. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank oh, you. So <laughs> this I know is like a s'more thing. Look at that. Cheesecake and these cookies. I'm going to an 11 out of 10. So soft. Cheers to the camera. <laughs> No. The dessert is Santi approved. Yeah. Come on in. Wait, this is beautiful, bro. This is the hotel room I'm staying in for the next few days. I got a lot of big things coming down the pipeline. I can't really spoil what it is, but all I'm saying is I got a lot of big plans for 2023, and of course, I always have to show my appreciation. If it wasn't for you guys, I would not be able to do any of this. Meeting you guys in public, reading your comments, you guys just clicking on my video and watching it just genuinely means the world to me, and I think about it all the time. It sounds kind of cliche, but I love you guys so much, and you guys have changed my life for the better. But yeah, I just want to end the video here. Here. Thank you guys for watching today's video. Make sure you are subscribed. I'm feeling super blessed and grateful right now. So thank you guys so much. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I will see you all with the next video. Peace.